back to my channel okay guys we are going to make a brand new page so we're going to use a brand new tunnel which i already provided with a nice strip i still am on my first page with the strips i only have one left i think yeah one left um so let's get started okay first I am going to see how my measurements are. So assume that I want this in two. Now it's a nine and a half. So that means a nine three fourth. That's the middle. How far am I if I also do a four three fourth at the bottom? So I have a square piece that I can use. So I want this two square pieces. All right, so I have a four three fourth. That's my measurement. So if your is wider than just measure the middle and then the middle of this and then what you have left, we're gonna need first. Oh, it's about a three inches. I think I first go with the top. Maybe that's a better idea. Then I definitely know that I am correct. So shall we do that? So 434, that's mine. That's mine square pieces. So two. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so let's grab a piece of paper. And um, well, I'm going to cut this first a 434. Four, three, four, but and then I am gonna make two flippity flops on each side. Again, I am going to cut this at four three fourth, and then I have a nice square piece. Gonna do that same thing on the other side. Okay, now check it out, check, 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 check. So, if I put this on the left side and this on the right side, then it should be fitting perfectly yes 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 i even have one millimeter distance around it so that's perfect now what we're going to do with this one put the tunnel away for just a minute because i want to make these um i call these sleeves or something so this is the base i'm going to grab you even can make it like this but then it's not a sleeve but mm, the pocket is maybe even better maybe all right <laughs> yeah I'm always changing my mind everything I always check first what I have left okay these are my largest pieces let's see And this one but these two I do have a left let's see the smallest one from this one and I do like the bottom piece so mm, yeah I think we can manage with this I'm gonna give you the measurements after I am first going to just use your leftover pieces so normally when I'm gonna make a pocket I do score two lines the bottom one and one side one and then I just can measure so here is my hinge on here and um, this is going to be on the left side we're going to do this at the back so I'm just going to fold one side and then sideways Gonna side weight pocket we're gonna make make a mark and then make your next 
fold line and cut it down. Alright, now for my handiness, I like to first provide this with tape and then cut the corners off. So much easier. Here we go. Now we have our first pocket ready. And in a minute we're going to do the other one. First, I promised you that now I want to check how wide this is. This is a three and a half. Can I make that with this one too? Let me check. This one I cannot. So I'm just going to improvise this and cutting this the same size. This one, this one is a three, three, eight. So I am going to cut this one down. But you can make any size you have left. Any size you have left you can use, of course. Just improvise any size you have, you can use. You don't have to cut a full sheet doing pockets. That's nonsense. Alright, so. We have our pocket and we have our flippity flop. When this is on the page, this moves to the left, and then this pocket with the inter in in inter in the opening. <laughs> the opening. Why am I always using fancy words? The opening has to be on the left side. So this we can put nicely and uh, two millimeters away from the fold line and then the opening can be right here you also can do the opposite totally up to you of course whatever you like but we can change this but for this now I will put away because I feel I'm gonna make my other one Make a mark. Oh, yesterday I cut my finger, my thumb, with cleaning my vegetables. It's a very sharp knife, and I just cut through my skin. All right, now I almost need a new roll of tape. Almost out. Fold it all, burnish it down. You can choose if you want to make a nice notch in here. Absolutely stunning. I love it. So I have two same pockets. Use your leftovers. All right. Um. I am going to do a notch, of course. I love it. I, I'm desperate falling in love with this one. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just going to use my leftover design paper to do that too. Uh, let's see what I do have for the leftover pieces. Yeah, this, this is not in the correct size direction this we can we can use for everything this is also the correct this is mm, not usable right now this we also can use and this of course also to be used um, I think then I will go for this one because I don't want to cut small pieces out of a big page 
and I think we can use, yep, we can. So what size do we want? Well, I think a one inch or something. It's always nice for a top notch. So, well, maybe just a little larger. A one, one eight or something. I think that's a good, oh, I almost throw this away. Pay attention, pay attention. All right, cut this the right size. Is this the same size? Yep, it is. Then I'm just gonna fold this in half. Cut this down. And we're gonna make a notch. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. You all know how to do that, so I'll be back in a sec. When I have finished this. Oh, look how easy that went. Oh, it's so easy. I'm just gonna eyeball the middle guys right here. Eyeball it. Here we go, and I'm gonna cut it down. And I'll be back. Okay guys, I was already decorating my pockets. And I want to use this ribbon that I already cut at the correct size. And with my lighter, I closed um, the edges so it will not tear or... There we go, I like it. Oh, of course, peel off the tape. Here we go. All right, so what I did was I cut down the ribbon and I used a lighter to make sure that the sides are not, um, I call that, off all these out. I don't think that's English, but okay. You know what I mean. All right, so what do you think? Oh, 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 oh. and by the way, I did use this piece of paper. Um, as long as the word is not um, in the way, it's perfect fits. I don't like how this turns out with these. So cool. So yeah, you can use this, this direction as long as the word is not in the picture so and I only use this piece and then cut in two and then the rest I covered up with that ribbon perfect I really like it okay so let's get back to the page in the meanwhile I had I had um, the visitors my mom came with my stepdad and so um, then I had to go to the post office to post two kids um, so yeah let's get back in track so where do I where did I go? All right, so we have our flippable pages. Um, let me add some tape. Yeah, this is the last. Okay, uh, let's get back a new one. I already have it ready. Yeah. Okay. And the other one. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so what's the meaning? The meaning is that we are going to place these on top. Let's just do that right away. That's a short one, so maybe this method is a little over protected, but oh, you know me. All right, so I'm gonna place my first square. One. 
And then the other one. Make sure that you stay away at least a half millimeter away. And then I'm just going to place this one. And I do see that I have a millimeter off here and I actually like that to be off a little bit. But and this is just a small millimeter in between left. So that's cool. Alright, so here we have our window. Now you can add your pocket already on. Not on the front because in the front I want um, I want to have a photo frame or something. Well, you can do it at the front. Is that nice? Can be done, but that was not my intention. <laughs> All right, so you can decide. Do you want this this way up or sideways? Also possibility or on the inside. Totally up to you. Okay, which which do I like? Mm, I think maybe on the outside. So whatever is inside I can go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Peel this off. Here we go. Just on the start on the bottom. Place it down. Okay, here I'm going to add some of that tape that I always use, well always, recently. <laughs> but, yeah. Just flip your page if that's easier. Make it yourself easy. Make it yourself easy going. Okay, release the tape. There we go. Place something under. Gives you a nice pocket with loads of space instead of a tight pocket and that's what I really had in the future in the past very tight pockets and now I have this method and well maybe it's not the best but I like it Burn this down What shall we do on the background? I don't know just yet. Um, maybe we have maybe this kind. It's always nice for backgrounds. Something like this. Something like that. Anyway, um, so that is done. Now I first go at the bottom because we are going to do something at the bottom and now we know what size now it is still not a full three inch um, mine is two seven eight so 
let's just I do need a half inch to have a flippable bottom so let's grab a piece and did not measure it but this this piece but I think it will fit all right we're gonna make a pocket so make sure that this is the same size as you have above your two flippable pieces. Let's make another flippity flop. There we go. Let's add some tape on it. Here we go. Okay, now let's see if it fits. Let's go back the page. And if it's not, then I just can cut it down just a little tiny bit till I am one millimeter under my two flippable pages. I'm going to make two mark so I am correctly cut this down. Yes. Okay, for this one, I am not going to make a notch because we need this this pocket. Um, so here we go. Shall I already glue it on? So this is actually the back pocket. When you open this up, you have this pocket. So we can put it on. So I also start first at the bottom there we go yep same method I'm gonna use Here we go, nice pocket, and then this opens up. See how large this pocket is now. Super cool. All right, so next step, because we are not done. Nope. Okay, guys, let's go to the next step. Next level, we are going to make a pocket. Let's go up. Well, this is a leftover piece. Um, all right, so let's make hinge and another hinge. And I like this to be four inches. So I need to score. I need to score and Cut. And then I have left four inch. Yeah, I do. I do have four inch. All right. So um, <laughs> what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy me. All right. What I'm gonna do at the bottom piece is going to be on top. So 
So I'm gonna make a mark so I can cut this down. So I have another pocket that's four inch. This is four inch. Alright. But if you have any left over, it, it, the size is not that important. I just have a four inch, but maybe you have a three and a half inch. Perfectly fine. Whatever you like. Or maybe you have a four and a half inch. Also, perfectly fine. But mine is four. I'm gonna add this. Same method. And I'm just gonna eyeball this. Um, I forgot. I forgot to put a nice notch in here. I think that would be nice to do that. So, yep, yeah, I'm sorry. All right, so let's make a notch. Same as we did with the other, with the other pockets. It makes a pocket so much better. I really, really believe that. <gasps> oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> so sorry. Oh. Oh. Always felt so cool. A good sneeze. <laughs> okay, guys, so we all know what to do now. Um, so we do the same. So the blue comes back. Actually, I do like it. So um, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. So I'm going to cut this and I'll come back when I do see the mark. Where is the mark? Oh my gosh, it's so dark paper. Yeah, now I do see it. And I even have my glasses on. <laughs> I do. Um, I, don't, I don't need the complete size. Alright, let's cut this one and then use it. Oh, I promised you I still would tell you about my last hotel on my holiday. That was maybe the cherries on the cake. It was, it was. So I told you that I had booked a castle hotel. And I also do loads of um, um, weddings or meetings and everything. So it's not only a hotel. So it's a very, and it's, yeah, it, I, mean, I just love it. It's small, but it still definitely feels like a castle. And, and the gardens and everything, oh, it was just so cool. Um, we ate, we, we, we managed to have our din dinner later that night and I must say after Venice <laughs> this was just ah, <laughs> with all the uh, things on the table, all the wine glasses and all the, um, how, how you call that, the, the dinner tools, a spoon and, and a fork and knife and everything, dinner tools, oh my goodness. <laughs> way <laughs> okay I need to get that <laughs> anyway so um, yeah it was a very very fan fancy dinner maybe too fancy for us but oh my gosh I loved it loved it so yeah we had several different things on our holiday from yeah a little camping um, quality 
still a very fancy quality so I really like that so the differences I really like so it's not it was definitely each each day totally different and um, so I booked an, a, a room obvious and you could choose in that um, hotel uh, castle you could choose to stay in the in 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 the castle to get a castle room or you could choose for a, a 30 euro cheaper room in another um, in another building next door the castle but of course I wanted to have a castle room yeah yeah yes so oh my gosh it was so detailed so cool um, yeah it was definitely worth paying the extra 30 euros it definitely was I loved it especially when this was our last our last uh, night and we also regret that we only spent one night in that village but the Wayne was following us so the last three days of our, of our holiday um, we got a lot of Wayne and uh, the plan was um, if the weather is good then we can uh, keep booking new hotels as long as we want want it but um, yeah the Wayne keeps bugging us so we just need it um, I'm gonna wait to decorate this for just a second um, okay let me apply first this one so anyway um, yeah the, the, the castle was really 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 cool and um, for those who knows me longer than today <laughs> I am addicted to beautiful um, houses and car castles and especially on the inside. I don't know about you, maybe you know the movie Rose Red. Oh my gosh, it, yeah, it is a horror movie, but oh my goodness. The changing of the house every single time. Oh my gosh. And, and, and oh, I just love those kind of movies. So if there is a movie with um, beautiful big houses, I love it. I want to see it and I keep watching them. So when I was in that castle after our dinner, I was just, of course, curious how the rest of the um, castle would look like. So, and I, we stayed on the first floor and there was a second floor also with hotel rooms and on that floor there was a sauna. So I thought, well, if I would, I really like to go to the second floor just to watch, not, I cannot go in another room, but only to walk down to see how it looks up. I really want it. So <laughs> my hobby was going back to the hotel room. But I was saying, well, I'm going to watch. And if somebody asks me what I'm doing there, I'm just going to say, I just wanted to check out the sauna. Maybe because maybe I want to use it. So that was a good excuse to go to the second floor. <laughs> so I was exploring in that castle. Oh my gosh, you can imagine my heartbeats. Because, yeah, I was not doing anything wrong, but still, still it felt, ooh, <laughs> very, very excited. <laughs> All right, so, um, while I was doing that, I first go to the next stage. <laughs> because we are going to make two more pockets. Oh my gosh, yep, we are. We are going to make two more pockets in front of here. And they also need to be 4 inch. Um, no, that's not true. They need to be the same size as this one. That's... Oh, I hate measurements. So I'm just going to grab a, another piece of paper. Um, I can. I can go right away make a flippity flop. Just because. just because I can and then I am going to measure the flippity flop needs to go down 
and this this height I need till here that's a nice size I hear that Roger is whining downstairs but I need to ignore that a little bit but because she just wants to go up and my son is downstairs so I just want her to learn that she can't be every single minute of the day with me and I know she wants it and on the other hand maybe she needs to go outside and maybe my son is taking a nap so mm, I'm struggling here I am <laughs> What do I need to do? Do I need to go down? I know if I'm down, then I am 30 minutes further. further. <laughs> I'm trusting that my son is awake and that she, he, will take her out if needed. Okay. Um, I have my flippity flop on this side. So I just think that I am just going to put this. Now she's barking. Okay. She's serious. <laughs> okay, so she definitely needs to go pee. And my son was asleep. <laughs> Beauty she asleep. Alright, so first pocket. Can I make another one? Yep, I can. Let's make another flippity flop. And I still just make a mark and make another flippity flop. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to make. Shall we also do the that beautiful notch? Yes, of course. We are going to do that. So you all know what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I can tell you a little bit of my castle journey. <laughs> so I was walking. First I was visiting the sauna. Wow, it was, if, yeah, I definitely, yeah, it was. It was the top floor of the castle. The castle has, does not have that many floors um, so it was uh, I really loved it I really loved what they did with the place with all the balconies and, and is the balcony no the wooden wooden roof on the inside so you were looking on the inside um, of the roof so cool and um, yeah it really felt if you are on a castle attic with um, old, I call those playful horses and old um, baby cribs and everything. Yeah, it really felt if you are <laughs> on the attic. It's so cool. So when I discovered that, I also discovered some doors and they were open. So I thought, well, if it's not allowed to go there, then you have to close it or put something down, like staff only or something. And it was not. So, okay, I went in. <laughs> yes, I did. I was too curious to just ignore it. So I was not. So I was walking and walking and, oh my gosh, it felt so cool just to to walk there alone was just amazing because yeah normally you would say you are not allowed to walk everywhere but I was just too curious and just too much amazed and yeah so I did it and um when I was walking, uh, I noticed some areas and some hallways that leads to another um, another castle room and other 
hotel rooms. So it was not the same. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the same. So, um, <laughs> and at one time I was uh, walking to a, and I, then I found a door, and it says, um, oh, I also can use this one. Oh, wait just a sec. Um, I, it says it has the name. That room has a name. There were a few rooms, and there were in the tower, in the tower of the castle. And those were like the most expensive to one. And the door was open. And I thought, huh, why is it open? And it was completely dark. And I, the first thing that I saw was an untucked bed with no blankets or no sheets on it. So it was not in use. Trust me, I did check it out if there were not any hotel guests in there. I would not dare <laughs> to to go in a room that's that's with other people, of course. Um, so it was not used, and and I also think it's not that often used. Maybe it's a good good one for if you have a wedding or something that they would use that room. It was so spectacular with so many cool furniture inside and everything. So. So I was just a little bit sneaky <laughs> going through that room. It was so, so cool. And it even, it even had a second floor in that room. And then you were absolutely in the top of that tower. And in that tower, there was yeah, a little desk and, and a little chill area. So cool. I was already regretting that I did not book that room. I definitely would love it, but then not only for one night, but maybe two nights would be awesome. So it was so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty quick excited. Wait just a second. Maybe this, well, now I did. I can't turn it now. Wait just a second. No, the same is perfect. Perfect to me. Alright, so um so I'm continuing uh, with walking around and I even found a how you call a stair that goes this way. Yeah, I know the name in, in Dutch but I don't know in English. But anyways, um and, and that that one really feels for stuff only, but again there was not any sign. But I do notice because there were old uh, office chairs stored and, and everything. So, so I only went one stair from that one. And then um, the second one I just leave, I left it because I really think it was just a storing place. And I really think that that was a place for stuff only. So I do not want to get caught because that was really not my business to go. And the rest, I really think that it was for hotel guests to walk, but not in use. So, but that's, so I did not commit a crime or anything. I just was curious and maybe they even liked me to check out what they had. Anyways, I enjoyed myself so, so much. It was just meant to be. <laughs> I would love to go more to such things. I would, if you have any rec recommendations, then please just advise me. I just love these things. And I even was a little bit disappointing when I noticed they did not have a dungeon. <laughs> well, maybe they did. I know there was a, um, um, a place where it you can, how I call that, you can rent that area and it, it's a special dining room and I do have it specially um, decorated in, oh, how are you call ridders, how you call the night, nights, night, well, anyway, uh, but that one was closed so I could, could not go there, but that was a level, level down, but I still think that there are maybe or maybe not dungeons i have no idea i could not find it anyway um so that is the only thing that i had that 
I was a little bit disappointing. If they had it, then it was a perfect search for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. I know. I am crazy. I just ex love explore houses. I don't know why, but I just love it. Okay, let's put this on. And... Oh, by the way, the gardens were also amazing. So nice. There were even some mid century um, houses rebuilt. So I bet, I bet there are some events going on once in a while. Um, when they are playing the past again. Something like that, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it's so cool. I really like it. Okay, so let's go to the page. Let's go back. Now the meaning is that we are going to put this on here and this on here. And then it should be fitting nicely. Yeah, so cool, so cool. Again, I just first go do the bottom piece. First, all the drills the same way. Exactly. Just a little space I do see. That means that I just go leave a little space on the outside. Mm. Maybe it's even better to first decorate this, otherwise it's a little odd, I guess. Yeah, that's maybe a good idea though, yeah. Uh, just choose a background. Um, check, check, check. Oh, this would be nice. Maybe too nice for using as a background, but at least it's nice, simple. Here we go. Okay. Do I not want? I definitely want. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't think it fits. There is on one sheet a little piece. Oh. Uh, that's just not enough. Too bad, too bad. Then we're just going to use this or we can use again this one. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. your fingers you don't want to burn it there we go put this on Here we go. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's glue it on. Yay! 
Yes, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This one is not that terrible because we are going to apply something for the back. So that's okay. Yeah, 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 yes. Here we go. Okay, guys. Um, I think I'm continuing. See, the background, you not even noticed that much, so that is for just, I think I'm going to use this one, it needs to be deep enough. Thing so far, what the heck are we going to do? Here we go. Yep, let's go to this side. Do the same. Need to be fitting in the pocket, guys. Needs to be in the pocket. Save all the little pieces. Cool. I think I go for the background too. Of course, this will not fit. Of course not. Here we go. Let's do this for the background too. Of course, we do need something for the bottom. So what do you think so far? this yep I really like it um, let's 
see what we can do for the bottom. Just blue. Nope. 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 We do need a long piece here. Yeah. We do need a long piece. I want to do on. No, it does not need. It does not. Is that important? You also can cut in two. I need to have a piece to cut down. Not that it's terrible, but I don't want to. I want to go in the brown. I want to use this bottom piece. So, yep, I am going to cut two pieces that are half inch. And put it this way and then just only oh that is actually not that difficult to do just you also can do this not this way just a sec why I didn't use a small one yes 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 I just can cut this the full size. Oh, genius. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. There we go. Goody, 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 goody. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And then I'm just going to use this one. Ja? Keuken? Ja, ik kom, ik zal het ook even helpen. Ja. <laughs> Oké, okay, he lost his key of his car. Hmm. Oké. Okay. And now he is with my car. doing this. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can decide. I don't I don't I really like this a little higher so I do see still my bottom piece. I'm just gonna overlap this just a tiny little bit. That went quick. Maybe I should use also my fabric tag. Why did I not think of that? Well, if it comes loose, I still can. So I hope and pray that this tape will good enough, but I 
think using an extra glue would be better. But I totally forgot, I must say. All right, so now what we have. We have pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Now this pocket is very important because this is going to be the closure for that. So let's see. I want to have it larger than... I'm just going to grab a new piece of paper because I don't know exactly how high this is going to and it does not have to be completely but at least one inch below and I want this to fit nicely inside so I guess let's make a flippity flop because I don't want to make just a tag I want to make a nice booklet because a booklet is sturdier. Alright, just cut down this piece and then this piece and then I am having, I think, the perfect size. This fits, I believe, or too tight. I think it's too tight. Just cut off then a little bit. You better can cut off till it is the correct size. Then, yeah, this is nice. See, I can nicely can put this in and out. And I really like the size of this. So with this we can decorate. <gasps> Yes, I love it. And then add. Oh, for now, let me see what we still have to be used. A little. This is actually pretty dark, but you can place anything inside here. Everything, everything you want, of course. Something like that. Possible. So we can add anything. Oh, maybe one of these is amazing to fit in here. Oh, look at that. I do love this. And if you think that the blue edge is not working for you, you even can put it on this and then have it a little lighter but this is also very very cool what do you say oh I like it I like it a lot I like it a lot yeah you can put it here but then I know that's not that's not what I like. All right, I have a struggle here if I want to have a white edge or that blue edge. But, gosh, I love them both, I think. And if I do, shall I just make, I always can cut it off. Wait just a minute, wait just a minute. I can't cut it off if I don't like it. I just can cut it off. What if I add a very, very small white edge? It's not white, it's pearl grey. Pearl grey. It's pearl grey. Cut down. it down look at that oh yes and I even oh yeah pure decoration <laughs> I even like sometimes to add 
Go crazy. Go crazy. Because edges are actually already nice. But hey, I like it even more nice. It's detail, detail that matters, matters, it does, it does, it does matter, yeah, yeah, tiny little pieces, oh, this is a bronze one. Once we will do the trick, of course, too. <laughs> See, I wanted to do two at the same time, but that they don't want me to do. <laughs> oh, the finishing touch. Finishing touch here. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah! The finishing touch! It is! It is! It is! It is! I just add some double-sided tape just to be sure that it will glue down easy. Oh gosh, what a love. What a great hobby we have. Oh my gosh. I can feel so much satisfaction in this. In doing this. Oh, it's super cool. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I do see a little leak coming out, which I don't want. Is this awesome or what? It's the little detail, I guess. Oh, oh yes, fancy or what? Ah, I love it. Super cool. All right, so um, yeah, 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 yeah. We now can decorate this, and oh, look how cool this all is. We can decorate. We even can do, well, maybe it's too thick. We even can do a one flip up. I think we can. But let me first decorate all this a little bit and then just see if we have enough space for that. What do you think? What do you say? What do you think? What do you say? <laughs> I'm getting nuts here. I am. I am getting nuts. I am. So cool. Oh, amazing. All right, so guys, as I told you, I want to do um, decorate this as two photo frames. Now, which paper is the best to use for that? Oh, stunning. Oh, 
Oh, this we did not use just yet. Maybe. Oh, I always struggling. This is also nice for background. I just, I am, I'm, I'm addicted. I am addicted. I, I confess. I do confess. I do have a stripe issue. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? That would fit lovely because we already have stripes right here. So maybe it looks a little oh, ridiculous. Oh, this one would do perfect for for that booklet. If we just oh yes, I love it. And we have this left. Oh, oh, why do I have so many types? You know what? I go for my first instinct. And my first instinct is using this. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, if you want to see me doing this, then stay tuned. All right, guys. So, what I'm going to do, you can choose for a half inch or a three fourths. I go for the three fourths. Just a little bit wider. How many do we need? No idea, but I'm gonna start with three. Well, I think we definitely need four. Four on both sides. I always can cut more. So what I'm gonna do first, I am gonna change it this direction, and I'm gonna use. They are all the same, and I do need four of those. So I'm just going to cut four of these. There we go. Smooch the edges and let's glue these all four on. Left and right. And then the next one goes on the other side and then the other ones. Alright. Not that difficult. Nope, it's not. Okay, that's done. Um, now you can choose. You can choose to put these in between. Just cut down the correct size and put this in. If you like. But you also have an opportunity. At least I hope I can make it with, wait just a second, I think I can, wait just a second, mm, I don't think so, but then I'm gonna do some magic trick that I showed you earlier. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna cut this one same size. So I need four more, and that's what I thought that I did not be able to get my fourth one, but that's okay. I'm just going to glue down these two, and that nobody knows, I hope. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue down these two on each other and then nobody will ever know. This the same size, and then nobody knows. Here we go. 
Okay, cool. So we have four pieces. Now what I'm going to do, place this over and then just, because I have way too much tools on top, too much, yeah. All right, let me just make a little mark right here in that corner and then I'm just going from corner to mark, mark to corner, smooth the edges. Put it on. Here we go. Peel it down as nice as you can, and then you have a way nicer frame in my opinion. Sometimes I just do the easy way, glue in between, but with the stripes I always think that this is so much better. And we have plenty of papers. We do. I'm still on my first set, my first 26 sheets. And we do have another. 26 sheets so and we are already on page 3 so oh my gosh here we go yeah 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 so I'm gonna do that same trick on the other side and then when I'm done I'll come back to you look at that that's stunning isn't it super cool all right guys so this is what i had in mind so what do you think i think i like it for this too but you also can use of course um, design paper to put in the back if you like be my guest but i like to use this so that's just pearl gray cardstock with using my ink pad pumice stone this is one, the one I use for this project. So cool. I really, really, really love it. Now, the first thought, what I had was I want to make it blue. Um, that's also not that ugly. It's not. But I still prefer the brown. I don't know, but... And the blue is, for those who want to know... It's the weathered wood. It really match the papers, but I am I love this better. <laughs> so I changed it. Here we go, so that fits nicely inside. And then I had an idea to just put this right here, so I only glue down the sides. And this round the bottom. So if you have your picture, it still fits nicely under. And if you, I don't know why, it's just bark. All right. So if you have a picture, let's assume that this is my picture, then you still can slide this nicely under. See how gorgeous that is. 
love it all right and then on this side i decided to go for this so i only put glue on this side and this also just apply a little so I have my picture and it slides under just like that it looks so much easier otherwise you can't use this if you put it down completely and if you add your picture then I recommend that you glue this down on your picture so it stays better but for now I need to let that open okay so far so cool all right oh <laughs> why do i have this in front of you well i really have <laughs> a lot of etchy on my back and that's the tool i carry with me everywhere <laughs> so i have one here and one in my bedroom and one even if i go out um on holidays or something i also carry one i just have a itchy spot on my back <laughs> okay so that's for that um yeah now we need to go on the inside and finish it off cool now let's see what can we do on the inside oh gosh i love it so much I love it. Alright, so let's see. We also, oh my god, look on the pile of these leftovers. Oh, I think you already know what I am thinking. Oh, it's almost time <laughs> to get a nice patchwork page. I'm crazy, I know. I know, I know, I know. Let's put these also there. So these are my bigger leftover pieces. Um, well, I can do this for the background. Maybe it's a little bit boring. Ooh, this is not boring. This is not boring at all. But also this I can use for the background. It's a little bit busier, but still like it as a background why not but I need two and I don't think that I can manage those two nope it's too small and I think I go for this one and then we'll see for the bigger one what we can do on the on the back so let's see we have to put it this way or we split it in two but this one will fit Mm, no, it's or this one for the background, um, or this stripe. I think we also can manage this direction. Yep, that's also a cool one. Or we have this lighter blue, and that we maybe, but then maybe i need to cut down in this maybe just maybe me knowing myself i don't like it but i also can use this piece and split this in two oh my gosh options options what do you say I actually like this one so let's do it let's do this one this also needs to fit in the pocket so we need to make our pocket measurements and then a little deeper just a little not too much just a little so let me cut this First, cut this one. And then the longer. Here we go. Cut 
go. So what do you say? I even can flip this. Because this is going in the pocket. And then I have this up. Oh yes, I like that. Not gluing this down just yet. I can switch the edges, but I'm not going to glue it down just yet. glue it down leave it you never know where what kind of ideas that I next have next oh can we not use this why 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 I am oh what the heck I am I am I'm gonna use this so I'm gonna cut this the same size so it will fit in the pocket I think my son is still searching for his keys. <laughs> oh my god, how can you lose your car keys? How? How can you do that? Okay, let's cut this loose. Here we go. And then of course we still need a top piece. We still do. See how much then put this in this pocket. Well, crutch it is with my son, so I don't have to answer his bark. Okay, let's say this fits just right here. So that's how much. Let's say, yeah, it's a seven eight. Well. I think a three fourth will do too. So and then I guess that this this piece is the same. So let's search a nice piece that fits that fits with this. What do you say? Which one? Maybe. Three fourth and three fourth needs to be three four three four one and a half. Oh, this fits perfect for that. Nope, this is too small. Let's just use this one. We have it, so let's use it. All right, so I'm gonna do a little mitch mac, mitch mitch matching, mitch mixing. And then we just glue it on. Oh, we even can. Nope, we're not gonna use the blue. This blue is another blue. But let's just cut this into. And then we can start. You can choose, by the way, if you like this on top or you like this. In, but I think, well, 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 all right, <laughs> just see for yourself what you will love to do. But let me check, okay, move this. Let's do maybe something impossible. this in here what if and then do this on top <sighs> oh 
Because this is nicer. Yeah, I think this is nicer. <laughs> But <laughs> yes, they are very handful, handy sometimes. They are. And then I'm just gonna apply this at the top. And now what I see. just need something to cover this one up I have no idea if I have another one but, but this is amazing yeah see just use your imagination use your imagination Alright, now I go to the side and we do the same thing. 